Hi, it's Katrina. From destroyed German swords to a lost city of the pharaohs just discovered in Egypt, here are 10 of the most incredible recent discoveries. Number 10. Bent Swords Archaeologists have made a new and impressive find at the Vilsenberg Hill Fort in western Germany. Archaeologists used metal detectors to uncover an ancient arsenal of weapons buried beneath the remains of the old fort. Among these weapons were the blunted tips of lances and spears, shattered shields, and the remains of horse harnesses. The artifacts have been dated to between 300 and 1 BC, but archaeologists still aren't sure if they came from one massive battle or were accumulated over hundreds of years. Archaeologist Michael Ball says that the arsenal is the largest ever found in the area. The first weapons here were discovered by accident in the 1950s, though these newest discoveries were made between 2018 and 2020. The weapons were found close to the surface, suggesting that they had been left on the ground and then slowly buried as the years went by. But here is the most interesting part about the weapons. Archaeologists also found swords bent in unusual positions. Based on the extent of the damage, it looks like the weapons were destroyed on purpose, probably by victorious warriors who broke them as part of a ritual to disgrace those they had defeated. It was kind of like defeating your enemy and then breaking into their house and ruining all their stuff. Researchers working at other sites have noted that Celtic cultures would ritually destroy the weapons of their enemies. So why not here? Number 9. Henry VIII's Accident Henry VIII is one of England's favorite and most infamous kings. He was a beloved prince who turned into a tyrant, changed the religion of the country, and beheaded Anne Boleyn, one of his six wives. He was also wounded in a jousting accident at the age of 44, and it was this incident that is said to have changed everything. Before the jousting accident, King Henry VIII was considered to be a kind and generous man. But after he took an ugly fall from his horse on January 24, 1536, he became a bit of a lunatic. He was jousting at Greenwich Palace when he got tossed from his horse, only to have his horse fall directly on top of him. The accident nearly cost Henry his life because he sustained a brain injury that historians now believe altered his personality. He became cruel and irritable, suffering from constant migraines. This change of mood ultimately led to him being one of the most hated kings ever and beheading his own wife. And it looks like finally archaeologists have just found the infamous jousting yard where the accident took place. Archaeologists discovered the jousting yard nearly six feet beneath the maritime Greenwich World Heritage Site, where Greenwich Palace once stood. The palace fell into disrepair and was demolished by Charles II. The team had to use ground-penetrating radar to locate the remains of the yard. They found the foundations of the viewing stands where spectators would have watched the jousting matches. But to find out more, archaeologists will need to actually dig up the ground and see what kind of relics they can discover. Number 8. Lost City In 2021, Egyptologists discovered a lost pharaonic city of ancient Egypt that they believe was once part of the fabled lost golden city in Luxor. The city dates back 3,000 years to the reign of Amenhotep III. It was also used by the famous ruler Tutankhamun. The discovery consists of mud brick houses, artifacts, and tools dating back to this time. This was during what many historians consider to be the golden era of ancient Egypt, when the nation was thriving during the 18th dynasty. What's truly amazing is that archaeologists have been searching for this lost city ever since the study of Egyptology began. They never found it until now. The city was built on the banks of the Nile River. It was once a large administrative settlement, and somewhere within is the mortuary temple of King Tut. Archaeologists even managed to find utensils that had once been used in the daily life of ancient Egyptians. Many of the relics, and indeed the broken structures, have not been touched by human hands in thousands of years. It's a wonder the city was lost for so long, considering it was found between the Colossi of Amenhotep III and the Temple of King Ramses III. Unfortunately for us, the discovery was literally just made, so we will still need to wait a while longer before archaeologists are able to see the full scope of their discovery. Number 7. Medieval Laborers Archaeologists from Cambridge University recently studied 300 skeletons found inside of a graveyard and made some very strange discoveries. 
They used X-ray technology to discover that 44% of the working-class people buried inside the parish cemetery had bone fractures, whereas 32% of the wealthier people had similar injuries. According to the team behind the study, the results suggest that in medieval Europe there was an enormous disparity between the working class and the better off, with those who belonged to the poor or less fortunate suffering from more severe injuries on a more frequent basis. These skeletons were taken from the historic city center, dated back to between the 10th and 14th centuries when Cambridge was a blossoming provincial town filled with artisans and merchants, with a steady stream of scholars arriving in the early 1200s. The cemetery buried wealthy donors, clergymen, and even the destitute. But out of everyone buried in the graveyard, it was the working folk who suffered the most brutal injuries. According to a report from the BBC, this is because working life began at the age of 12 back in those days. Forget going to school and playing with your Pokemon cards. In ancient England, you were working full days at 12, usually doing some kind of manual labor like stonemasonry or blacksmithing. Jobs often resulted in crushed and fractured bones. This is in direct contrast to the wealthier citizens of Cambridge who didn't work as hard and didn't suffer as many injuries. Number 6. Tutankhamun's Warrior Armor Archaeologists have made some pretty interesting discoveries regarding King Tut's warrior armor. This story involves a garment that was discovered in the tomb of Tutankhamun back in the 1920s. The armor is 3,000 years old and currently housed inside Cairo's Grand Egyptian Museum. It's been around for about 100 years, but it wasn't until now that researchers analyzed the leather cuirass once worn by the famous king using a new technique known as reflectance transformation imaging. The images of the king's armor revealed hidden features, indicating that it was probably worn by King Tut and not used as an ornamental piece. This has created a kind of media frenzy, with reports coming out that the young pharaoh was a brutal warrior. But guess what? That probably isn't true. A study in 2010 published in the Journal of the American Medical Association hypothesized that King Tut actually had a rare bone disorder in his foot called Kohler disease, meaning that he was more of a sick teenager than a young warrior. Now we have contradicting reports of just who exactly the most famous Egyptian pharaoh really was. Warrior boy? Sick child? Did he perhaps get carried to the battle wearing the armor even though he couldn't fight? Or maybe none of the above? A doctoral student from the University of Northampton even suggested that Tutankhamun didn't wear the legendary armor and that it was put into his tomb as a funerary gift. What do you think it was for? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. T-Rex Lived in Packs? Paleontologists studying a mass tyrannosaur death site at the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument in southern Utah have made a pretty startling discovery. They unveiled in 2021 that tyrannosaur dinosaurs may not have been solitary predators like researchers previously thought. Instead, it looks like tyrannosaurs may have been social carnivores, displaying pack animal behavior like modern wolves. These dinosaurs may even have lived in primitive social structures like many animals do today. This is despite the ferocious reputation of the carnivorous dinosaur. If it was such a hungry beast, how would it be able to live in a social group? Paleontologists figured this out using geochemical analysis of the dinosaur bones and the rock the fossils were found in. Researchers from the University of Arkansas figured out that the dinosaurs died and were subsequently buried in the same place. This suggests that they may have been living in something like a dinosaur den. They must all have been living together or came together for certain reasons. Even more fascinating is that the site in Utah is the third mass tyrannosaurus graveyard discovered in North America. The big question now is what other ancient dinosaurs lived in packs, and just how socially advanced were dinosaurs really? We know most dinosaurs had pretty small brains, but maybe they were smarter than we give them credit for. Number 4. The Aztec Meet the Maya a brand new archaeological discovery is suggesting that the Maya may have had direct contact with another famous civilization 800 miles to the north, the Aztec. Experts never imagined that the Maya actually met the Aztec, despite how close they were geographically. However, while the Aztec were located in present-day Mexico City and had a centralized political center and capital, the Maya were in the Yucatan and were not an empire but more of a collection of city-states with shared cultural values. The Maya civilization dates back to around 1500 BC, but by 900 AD, many cities were abandoned, 
but not all of them. The Aztec, however, reached their peak from about 1300 to 1521 AD when they were conquered by the Spanish. However, that doesn't mean that they weren't in the area way before then and may have had contact with the Maya civilization. This new discovery comes in the form of an ancient temple hidden underneath Tikal, one of the most famous Maya sites. Tikal is located in modern Guatemala, while the capital of the Aztecs, Teotihuacan, is located today in modern Mexico City. Aerial imaging unveiled a buried pyramid underneath an otherwise unassuming hump of grass. What's really fascinating is that the ancient structure does not appear to resemble anything made by the Maya, but instead has all the markings of a pyramid just like the one seen in the Aztec capital of Teotihuacan. New excavations at this site have confirmed that the construction and the type of ceramics and weaponry found inside are identical to those from the Aztec culture. Archaeologists even found green obsidian that came from central Mexico, along with an artifact depicting the Aztec rain god. As of right now, we don't really know what the Maya and the Aztec civilizations were up to. Did they get along? Did they trade together or maybe fight against each other? It's honestly hard to say what the exact nature of their relationship was. All we know is that it looks like the Aztec had some kind of major monument in the Maya city of Tikal. Number 3. Toll Road Dinos Near Sao Paulo, fossils of dinosaurs dating back at least 80 million years were found during the excavation of a toll road in 2021. The workers were working on a project for rainwater drainage when they found the bone fragments of at least two separate types of dinosaurs. They found the remains of sauropods and theropods. However, we don't yet know exactly what kind they are. All we know is that they definitely found something. The construction workers also stumbled upon the shells of prehistoric turtle-like creatures, scales from ancient fish, and even crocodile teeth belonging to ancestors of modern alligators. Paleontologists worked the site for 15 days, trying to excavate as much as possible before the work continued. Judging by the fossils dug up here, the area was once either a river or a lake. One of the paleontologists who worked on the project explained that the region probably received crumbling sediments from higher areas during the Cretaceous period, 245 to 65 million years ago, resulting in many dinosaur fossils being swept down to rest at the bottom of what became a lake or a river. All the biogenic remains got trapped in mud, which turned into sedimentary rock and eventually, boom, fossils. Unfortunately, modern construction trumps the excavation of dinosaur bones. The paleontologists got all they could from the location and had to move on. Number 2. The Sunken Settlement Archaeologists have found a Bronze Age settlement in a rather peculiar location. This settlement dates back 3,000 years and was found in central Switzerland, at the bottom of Lake Lucerne. A team of underwater archaeologists working with the city of Zurich made the discovery completely by accident while preparing for the construction of a pipeline. Lake Lucerne reaches depths of about 1,200 feet and until now was expected to be empty. But when the archaeologists began lifting chunks of wood and ceramic shards out of the water, it became clear that something important was submerged. The ceramics and chunks of wood were carbon dated back to the year 1000 BC. What this means is that whatever Bronze Age settlement is currently sitting under the water at Lake Lucerne is the earliest human settlement in the area. Absolutely nobody had expected to make this discovery. Archaeologists were able to identify artificially prepared piles of timber that had likely been used to build some kind of stilt house. Plus, there was enough evidence to suggest an entire village of stilt houses. Nobody knows which culture built the community or how it became submerged. We really don't know anything about the underwater village. Hopefully, more investigation can reveal this place's hidden secrets. Number 1. Ancient Safe Archaeologists studying the ancient city of Pompeii, which was destroyed by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, stumbled upon a safe that managed to survive the blast and remain intact for over 2,000 years. The safe was discovered at a site known as Room 10. Room 10 was likely used as some sort of warehouse, and it was also discovered to contain two bodies. This strong box probably belonged to whoever owned the commercial area. It's possible he was even one of the skeletons discovered inside of the warehouse. 2,000 years ago, this safe was the best security system a Roman could ask for. After all, it did survive the eruption and make it all the way into 2021. But what made this safe so safe? 
It was found with a four-stage locking mechanism to secure the valuables inside. The safe was kept in the upper part of the building before it crashed through the lower floor during the cataclysmic eruption. The safe itself is fascinating, but unfortunately there was never anything found in it. Experts believe it could have been ransacked either during the disaster or sometime after it. Still, it's one of the most impressive safe lockboxes ever found from ancient Rome, and is still very well preserved. As a side note, archaeologists say that the presence of the safe suggests that Pompeii may have been rampant with criminal activity before the volcano erupted. Thanks for watching! Which discovery was your favorite? Which one do you want to learn more about? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because why not? See you next time! Bye!